on 9th April 2021 at 8.41 a.m., an explosive volcano eruption occurred in St. Vincent. Subsequent explosive eruptions covered the island with ashes causing hundreds of homes to collapse which could not sustain the weight of the thick volcanic ash. The Pazia Sai Center thus took the initiative to help the St. Vincent community by building 27 homes. Pazia Sai Center pre-assembling of the houses started on 8 August at the Seva Warehouse in Trinity. The boarding for all 27 houses were cut and screwed on the framing at this time painted and then disassembled to be carried in the containers. In total, nine containers were packed with the housing material together with the furnishings like cupboards, beds, sofa sets, chairs, tables, and more. A difficult part of loading the material in the containers was the 25-foot long galvanized sheeting. A solution was worked out to use two forklifts, one to hold up the galvanized and the second to send it in the container. The main group was divided into three teams and the intention was to build all 27 houses in just a when we arrived on the 24th of September. On the 17th of September, an advanced team of 24 volunteers left for St. Vincent to start the pre-assembling of the houses. Since there were no regular flights to St. Vincent due to the pandemic situation, a special flight was chartered to transport the volunteers to and from St. Vincent. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Argyle International Airport St. Vincent. Soon after arriving in St. Vincent, the advance team dropped off their luggage and headed to the site where they would spend the next 8 days pre-assembling the houses before the main team arrived. Buds, beds, sofa sets, dining tables, stove ovens, kitchen utensils and other furnishings were also stored at assembly site. Pre-assembling of all the walls were done in a large warehouse. The place in which the advance team was staying, the warehouse site where the houses were being pre-assembled, and the location where the houses were to be built were just 5 minutes drive from one another. While the panels were being assembled, a site visit was conducted to ensure the foundation of the houses fit all requirements.
with working 10 to 12 hours a day every day even a rest for five minutes on boxes or the ground or even the metal framing felt like relaxing on the most luxurious mattress. After a few days of assembling the panels, trucks were loaded with the painted frames to be transported and set on site where the houses were being built. The main team arrived on 24th September with full energy ready to work with the advanced team to complete the remaining panels. So the thing still in a kind of is loud. Otherwise, tomorrow night we we'll running on stop. Forever, we we'll running until we get that all the things back to the As soon as the paint on the panels had dried, the team of volunteers were loading truck after truck to carry all the panels to the site. Painting of all the panels seemed like an impossible challenge that became possible only with the arrival of the main team with volunteers working entire night and day to complete this task. which were divided into three teams had built three houses by lunchtime. Since the team had years of experience and everyone knowing their field of speciality, eight houses were completed on the very first day. 
Work went on until late night with the help of lights from cordless drill machines and from the floodlights.
By the grace and blessings of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba, the housing complex of 27 homes was ready as planned to be handed over to its recipients.